it's pretty weird at the nanoscale too. And stuff just behaves differently than what we're used to at the human scale. Now what? Well, it would be very difficult to juggle at the nanoscale. I was afraid that's where you're going with this. Why? Well, for one thing, gravity really doesn't amount to much compared to other forces. It's pretty weak. I thought that was only up in space like in the space shuttle. Well, yes, but in inner space too. You see, atoms and molecules are so small yeah. that they have hardly any mass or weight. They may as well just jiggle off in this direction as in that. Oh no, Dan, that's terrible. Gravity is a juggler's best friend. <laughs> How do those poor little guys juggle with so little gravity? Yeah, and Joel, there's something even worse. What could be worse for a juggler than no gravity? Oh, you're not going to like this. Here, put this on. You see, Joel, it's incredibly sticky down there at the nanoscale. Sticky? Yeah, sticky. I don't like the sound of that. Well, things tend to stick to one another. You mean like a booger sticks to my finger? Ah, uh, kind of like that, but more like the way a gecko sticks to a wall. <laughs> well, that's actually kind of fun, isn't it? Help me. Ooh, hey. Hey, does anyone else want to try? Oh, yeah? Here you Wait go. Wait a minute. You can throw that right at Joel. Wait! Here you oh! Are. oh hey, there. careful! You, go. you look like you have a pretty good arm. Let's get over I this way here, too. This. Here, you want to throw that Whoa. on Joel? Help right him see how oh. strong he is at the nano scale. Man, look out! There you go. I throw guess that I'm right really on him. Thanks. Perfect. I got it. Wonderful. Oh, oh sorry. Can you get that? I guess I'm really attractive, right aren't I? Here, young man. Oh, jeez. There you go. Oh. Here you go, a couple of guys oh. over here. Oh. Dan, I'm really attractive. Yeah. I love this. You love this, Thank huh? You. Look. You love this. Well, let me just I like it. I caught it. rearranging here. Put those there. Put this one here. All right. Try juggling. <laughs> oh, no, Dan, it's impossible. Yeah. Those poor little nano guys. They don't get any breaks down there, do they? Like I've been trying to tell you, oh. it's really different at the nanoscale, which is the size of atoms and molecules, which are too small to be seen with ordinary microscopes, but everything is made of them. Okay, it's starting to sink in, folks. This is what Dan just said. Teeny tiny things behave way differently at the teeny tiny nanoscale, which is the size of teeny tiny atoms and teeny tiny molecules. And what's a molecule? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Okay, a molecule is just two or more atoms bonded together in a particular way. Like when you and I were sharing electrons earlier. Right. For example, okay. take an oxygen atom mm -hmm. bonded together with a couple of hydrogen okay. atoms. Well, that's a water molecule. Mm -hmm. Get a few gazillion of these together and you have yourself a drink of water. Or take a chlorine atom bonded together with a sodium atom. Yeah. Well, that's a salt molecule. Yeah. Get a few gazillion of these together and you might have a shaker full of salt. And then there's DNA. Now that's a really big molecule that carries the genetic code for making each and every one of us. It's made of millions of just five kinds of atoms. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Oh my! 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 Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, Joel, that's enough. Okay, okay. I get it now. Molecules yes. consist of atoms sharing electrons. Right. Atoms consist of a nucleus in the center. Neutrons and protons. Some whirling electrons and a lot of empty space. Which is still a big mystery to me. How can anything be solid around here? Anyway, this nanoscale stuff is sticky. Gravity doesn't matter so much. These guys could be running around on the walls like geckos. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell me, Dan? Well, lots, but I'll just share one more. Have you ever noticed how small things are more reactive than big things? Um, you mean like when a toddler has a tantrum? Mommy, no, mommy. No, no, no. That's reactive. Different kind of reactivity. Right? But hey, let's try it this way. Why don't you juggle these for everybody? Oh. You want to be careful with all those. Oh, geez. All right, I get to do this? All right, here we go. Check it out. This is good. Here it goes. Hey! <laughs> this, this is boring, Dan. Uh, this is clumpy and boring, Dan. I they couldn't don't agree like more. It. Well, let's see what happens if I break this up. Ooh, 
into smaller pieces. Here you go. Oh, gee. Now they're in little and one pieces. More. And they're really reactive. They sure are. I think this is going to be a lot more fun. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah. Woohoo. Now that's the reaction we were looking for. Like I've been telling you. Ooh, Ooh very nice. Whoa. Thank you. Smaller bits of the same material are more reactive than bigger bits. You're telling me. Ooh, very nice, Joel. Woo. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Hey. And Joel, I got to tell you. Things happen quicker down at the nanoscale too. Those guys, if they were doing a show, it would be over by now. Yeah, nanoscale stuff is small and reactions happen very quickly and sometimes in unexpected ways. It's like operating in a whole new universe down there at the nanoscale.